so why is our building rammed every night? When the, and, and the answer for me is that we're not selling a, uh, the opportunity to see the game. Mm -hmm. We're selling the opportunity to experience this game with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. and, and people you know, want to high-five a stranger, they want to hug a stranger when they win the game, they want to meet people with, with, that share the same values. And that ability to congregate is how we build a society. And these, these teams are very important to the communities in which we play because it brings people together. And I think the exact same thing's gonna happen in eSports. Mm -hmm. I think that's why those uh, 22,000 people showed up for the League of Legends tournament. They could have stayed home and watched that on Twitch, but they didn't. They liked to, do, in many cases, dress up and come down and, and, and be part of that community. So I think the physical uh, connection of live events isn't going anywhere. Yeah. In fact, frankly, I, I think that's a trend I think is accelerating. Yeah in an increasingly mobile and increasingly connected world, what's very interesting is we're out in the, in the, in the uh, uh, public space, the, the Agora, almost more than ever. Yeah. Mm. So uh, this is good for our business. This eSports thing started with LAN parties, so people just getting together to play video games together in the same space. They could have done that at home. They could have, but they got together because they wanted to get together with the community and just high five each other, just like Dave said, and just be a part of that whole scene. So getting to be a part of this, we just had a Rocket League tournament recently. So Rocket League is uh, soccer with cars, like souped up cars, and they're playing soccer. So it's easy to understand because if you understand soccer, you can understand the game. I've never seen so much hype in a crowd before. They're just, they're up, they're excited, and they feed everyone with energy and you see the players get up and they high five each other and you get to like you you see that you experience you experience that viscerally which is something so valuable for a gamer who's really used to playing at home by himself maybe online with somebody but you don't have that connection that physical connection with someone which is so important which is why esports has just become what it is